Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Chairman. Thank you very much for the opportunity to present um, our work entitled Towards Interoperative Diagnosis of Mesenteric Oxygenation with Hyperspectral Imaging. I have nothing to disclose. The background to this work, intestinal ischemia is a significant clinical problem. There are very many causes, and there are also many diagnostic modalities that we can use to try and detect this. And all of these have varying sensitivity and specificity, and the choice of test will vary according to the actual clinical picture. Now, the objective of our work is to try and develop an imaging system that we can detect in real time immediately the interoperative perfusion of the tissue that we are looking at. And the application of this um, may lead some critical benefits, particularly in the acute setting, firstly in the diagnosis of mesenteric ischemia, such as a laparoscopy or laparotomy, and then also to assess the viability of the bowel having um, restored the blood flow. And then maybe this will help us determine whether resection is actually necessitated. And then in the elective surgical se setting, we see this as being very important particularly in assessing the perfusion of your anastomosis, particularly at the colectomy, where we all know that um, anastomotic dehiscence, one of the main causes, is poor perfusion at the anastomosis site. This technology may also be useful in complex vascular procedures, such as abdominal aortic aneurysm repair, where we may compromise the mesenteric blood flow. And then at that time, we would be able to actually diagnose it there and then. Now, there is some technology which does um, similar, um, a similar things, such as visible light spectroscopy, which has showed some very promising results. However, a potential drawback with this technology is that it requires a probe to actually be in contact with the tissue, and also you only get um, information regarding the perfusion at that point. So the system that we're proposing is using hyperspectral imaging, which relies on the principle of um, near-infrared light, now, near-infrared light, if it's shone at the tissues, it is um, absorbed and also scattered. And hemoglobin is one of the main absorbers of this light. And it also, the, the degree to which it absorbs or scatters the light um, varies depending on whether the hemoglobin is oxygenated or deoxygenated. And subsequently, with this camera, we are able to calculate the relative oxygen, oxyhemoglobin and deoxyhemoglobin values on a pixel-by-pixel -pixel basis throughout the image. So here's just a diagram of the system. We have a camera on the left, and then the filter, which is adjustable and allows us to adjust to which um, wavelength we are going to detect. And then there is um, a zero degree standard laparoscope at the end. Some initial um, in vitro work to validate this. We, um, you can see on the left there, we have increasing concentrations of oxyhemoglobin and deoxyhemoglobin. And when um, this is imaged with the hyperspectral system, we can see increasing intensity of these. And the actual measured concentration by our system and the given concentration was significantly correlated. Some preliminary um, in vivo work um, with full ethical approval. We imaged some porcine colon. And here you can see the deoxyhemoglobin and the oxyhemoglobin maps. However, we did have some significant problems with um, movement. The image acquisition time is around three to four seconds. So both movement of the camera and also movement of the, um, uh, the subject. So what we've proposed um, to counter this is that we've actually incorporated our system into a stereo endoscope from Intuitive. And this allows us actually to um, gain 3D information of the specimen. And we can therefore align our, um, align our hyperspectral map to this. And here we have just preliminary um, results. We found that at termination, indicated by the black arrow, we get a decrease in uh, the um, oxyhemoglobin, and we get a predictable late increase in the deoxyhemoglobin. Now, these, both these values, the oxy and deoxyhemoglobin, are not reliable. However, the relative oxygen saturation is, and that does show a predictable decrease um, with uh, termination. So, in conclusion, We've demonstrated the feasibility of a hyperspectral laparoscope to detect relative changes in uh, hemoglobin saturation of the bowel. And we've also proposed the use of a stereoendoscope system to align these images. There are some limitations that um, we only have relative values of tissue saturation. 
However, future directions and where we're going with this is we want to um, further evaluate colonic perfusion in the animal model, but with selective mesenteric vessel division. We also want to validate the system against other markers of um, ischemia, such as lactate and tissue pH, as measured by microdialysis. And also, we would like to know the effect of mesenteric perfusion as detected by our camera and how this actually pans out in the clinical setting to overall anastomotic leak rate. And um, I'd like to thank Intuitive and Carl Stortz for loan of equipment and our funding from um, EPSRC grants. Thank you very much.